15 APC senators have defected to the opposition party, the PDP. Senate President Dr. Bukola Saraki announced their defection in a letter he read at plenary. The defectors include Senators Barabas Gemade of Benue, Dino Melaye Kugi, Shaba Lafiegi of Kwara. Then the others are Ibrahim Dambaba of Sokoto, Ubale Shitu of Jigawa, Isa Misao of Bochi, Sulaiman Nasif also from Bochi State, Rabi Ukwankwansu from Kanu, and Soji Akombi from Oyo State. Now this announcement comes after earlier reports that the residences of the Senate President Dr. Bukola Saraki and the, his deputy Ike Kwirimadu were blocked by security operatives. The Senate later adjourned sitting till September the 25th. We're now being joined by our political correspondent, Shung Okimbaloye, to give us further insight into this latest development. Hello, Shung, and thank you for joining us this minute. So what political implications or meanings do you give to this? Thank you so much, Emmeline. I mean, first and foremost, let's get to it. What does this mean for the APC? APC is in the uh, ruling, is in the possession of the National Assembly in terms of the ruling capacity from both of the chambers, from the Senate to the House of Reps. Today, they've lost the grip on the Senate. That means the ruling party and the center becomes well, less powerful in the Senate. And you know what? What uh, Senate, have, the powers of the Senate, they have powers of, uh, on the issues of appointment. So, uh, and you will say the House of Representatives have powers most of the times on the issues of appropriation. So, what it then means is that when you have a ruling party which controls the executive, cannot control the Senate, it then means that they've lost some legislative powers. Other issues that will require them to have consensus in the National Assembly, they won't be able to have that uh, hold on the National Assembly. You ask me, has the party really had that strong hold in the past? They've been having a huge political problem. Look at what the figures are telling us. So immediately, politically speaking, the party will now have to lose the principal officers from their uh, side of the divide, talking about the majority leader, now they would, they would be going into the minority side of the divide. That means the likes of Senator Lawan will have to leave that seat and perhaps be the minority leader. You remember Senator, uh, the former governor of Aquaibum, who is a uh, Senate minority leader, may become the majority leader. The chief whip, which is Professor Adia, may be losing that seat onto the minority. So the equation is now very interesting. Perhaps one of the very few times in our political history where you find the, pa the party holding sway and the executive arm of government is losing grip and the Senate chamber. Mm -hmm. So there are those who are given a different interpretations. But now, what does this mean? Does that also suggest that the Senate president, some say, look, it's a matter of when, not if he announces his defection. So is he also going to lose his seat, likely, if he defects? So let, let's do uh, political mathematics right now, uh, Chamberlain. From Kwara State, where we have the Senate president, uh, is from uh, the central senatorial district. We have um, the northern senatorial district. So what and then happens is that Senator Shaba Lafiaji and Senator Ibrahim Rafiu, who are also from Kwara State, have also gone to the PDP. So uh, commonsensically, one would think that well, it's just a matter of time before you see um, Senator Saraki move to the PDP. He's been the one at the head of all of this because he's seen the political issue. Yesterday released a statement that there is nothing like juicy offers for him and some of his colleagues. Let's look at the list again. Look at some of his diehard fans in the Senate, uh, some of his very good friends, like Senator uh, uh, Dino Melaye, is now... Uh, uh, has gone to the PDP. Uh, look like the, the two senators from Kwara State, they've gone with him. Senator Issa Misao is also a very good friend of uh, uh, the, the, the Senate president. These guys have gone with him. And he's just saying one thing, that a lot of the people who are with the Senate president uh, and have gone now might mean that the Senate president, just in a matter of time, this is political uh, power mutations, but we might see the Senate president in the coming days also going in the same direction. Uh, one of the interesting names that is on this list, we've seen Senator Nkui from Kaduna State is also of the faction with Senator Shehusani. We've not seen, we, we can't find Senator Shehusani's name here. The fear is that will the APC lose more senators? 
That's one thing that I think a lot of people need to consider because considering the number that we've heard, some people are telling us that over 100 lawmakers will move from the National Assembly. How many more will move? They still have about two days before they go on recess. Thursday will be the last sitting day for them before they go on recess. So it might be cascading, Chamberlain. Very interesting. We'll also wait and see how the House plays their card. Could be House of Cards. Thank you, Shane, our political correspondent.